Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some new drugstore products that I thought we would play with. I have one of the new e.l.f. camo correctors. I picked up a new concealer to me from Sephora. This is their serum concealer. I picked up the e.l.f. halo glow. I want to see if I can use this primer alone on my oily skin doing a minimal, mostly cream makeup look. And I'm gonna do probably about an eight hour wear test. So if that sounds interesting, then just keep watching. So on my face already, of course, is my skincare, including my Carpe to help with my upper lip. I have a little bit of my Ulta Matte Eyeshadow Primer on. I have the e.l.f. Brow Lift in my brows and the Essence Brow Pencil in my brows, and that is it. So this e.l.f. Halo Glow, this can be worn alone, this can be worn as highlight, this has been all the rage. Up until now, I have avoided it thinking, not for me, not for my oily skin, but today I wanna test it. What I'm going to do is this L'Oreal Matte Primer, which I have been obsessed with, I'm gonna put on one half of my face, and on the other half, I'm going to leave it alone. And we are going to see how this wears. It could turn into an oily mess no matter what, or maybe this L'Oreal Primer will continue to wow me, because so far, I have been loving it. So I just have it on this side of my face, mostly in the T-zone. And because I'm planning on wearing this alone and because I'm told it is a sheer coverage, I'm gonna take a little bit of my ColourPop No Filter Concealer that's in my Shop My Stash. This is in the shade Medium 22, which I believe is very close to my skin tone. And I'm going to spot conceal just in those areas that I need a little extra coverage. I'm gonna let those sit on the face for a minute and then I'll blend them in. I'm gonna take a little brush and just tap that in. I'm gonna get this hair out of my face. Next, I'm gonna go into this e.l.f. Halo Glow. Mine is in the shade three, which is light medium. The packaging is beautiful. It's heavy, it's got a big doe foot to take my Haley's Beauty foundation brush and just tap that in. I can see in my mirror that this side has a little bit less shine than this side. I like them both. For contour, I grabbed my Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Wears Walnut. I'm gonna put a little bit on my Shop Miss A little palette. And then I'm gonna take a BH brush, tap it on there, and then just tap it on. I do like how the glow is shining through everything. Put a little bit of this on my nose. I wanna jump in to this corrector. They had different colors. You can get blue to take yellow out of your foundations, green to take redness out of your face. There was a darker peach for discoloration, a lighter peach, and also a yellow. So I got the lighter peach shade and I'm going to use this under my eyes. And I'm gonna put just a tiny bit, just to help with that under eye discoloration. So far so good, I think I like it. And for concealer, I, on the recommendation of Alex Anel. She said that she just loved this Bright Future Serum Concealer from Sephora. I was conflicted. I went into Sephora to get 
the Lawless Concealer because Tati was saying how great that was and I ended up wanting to go with something a little more skin-like. So I thought this would be perfect because I don't think this claims to be full coverage and I like full coverage, but I also really like super lightweight liquid products on my face. So let's give this a go. Definitely feels like a serum. Go ahead and blend this in and see what we end up with. And I am going super, super light with this brush. This is an e.l.f. brush from their Mint Melt collection. I find that using a fluffier brush keeps it light. I think that looks nice. I am going to set under my eyes and down my T-zone. I brought in my number seven. This is their Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in the shade Light. I'm gonna take one of my powder puffs from Norate into the powder onto my hand and then just lightly tap under the eyes just to set that concealer. And then I'm gonna go down just the center of my face. I think the complexion looks good. Let's add some blush. I brought in my Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Peach Bums that has been advertised as a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkgasm. I don't own that, but I do like this. I'm just gonna tap in. And we're gonna add some of that luminous color, which I do like, so you can skip the highlight if you use this blush because it's got a luminosity to it and we're going for that glowing face today for the eyes i wanted to try this lottie london color cloud liquid eyeshadow i got it on ulta and for some reason it's not showing on ulta now but i do see it at walmart i will of course have everything linked in the description box below it says on its description that when it comes to eyeshadow, this liquid formulation is about as foolproof as it gets. Buildable and blendable, crease and smudge free, long wearing. It's got argan, jojoba, and vitamin E in it. Non-drying formula, vegan and cruelty free. There are multiple shades. The shade that I got is called Love and Coco. I will swatch it for you. Very pretty. Take this on the eyes. I'm going to do one eye at a time. Perfusion fluffy brush, also found at Walmart. And I'm just going to sort of tap this in using the flat side of the brush just to spread out all the product. And then I'm going to see if I can blend it up. I'm going to go a little bit higher with it and see if we can blend it higher. Taking the more flat end. Oh, didn't mean to do that. See if I can clean up those edges and that little boo-boo I made over here. That looks really pretty. I like that. Let me go ahead and do the other eye. Well, that was really easy. I'm going to go ahead and add some to the bottom. Wow, I like that. Now the true test, we'll see, does it crease? Does it fade? I mean, right now this is dried down. Oh, did smear a little. We shall see. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of my e.l.f. H2O liquid liner. I'm going to add a little bit of my Essence Extreme Lasting Liner in my upper waterline. I went ahead and added it in my lower waterline too because it always seems to transfer down. And now I'm just taking a little brush from Beauty Bay and just smudging it so it's not a harsh line. There we go. I went ahead and curled my lashes and because I just can't stop myself, I'm gonna use one of my new favorites, the L'Oreal telescopic lift mascara so very cool it's got a flat edge on one side and a brush on the other and it can be messy but i just can't stop using this it is 
a beautiful mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of coats and I'll be right back. Here is the mascara on. I just love it. You take the flat side and drag it through the lashes and it just applies a lot of product and then you flip it over to the brush side and brush through again and it just gives you so much volume and length. I am in love. I am also in love with the Milani tubing. I prefer tubing on my bottom lashes and there is the bottom lashes with the Milani. Just love this combo. Before I get into lips, I'm gonna throw a little bit of my Ulta. This is their baked bronzer that I recently picked up. Looking for a alternative to the Flower Beauty that I enjoy so much. I believe the Flower Beauty, I'm hoping it's just being repackaged, but I'm having a hard time finding it when I use it on camera to link for you all. It is beautiful. So I wanted to see if I could find another baked bronzer. I really enjoy the Hourglass one, but obviously this one's going to be way less expensive. It seems to be neutral on the cool tone side, so I like it. For lip liner, I thought it'd be fun to go in with a red lip, so I grabbed my Morphe Well Red. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on. And then for lipstick, I got one of the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stains in the Spicy Sienna. I got this as a Christmas gift from a beauty group that I belong to. We did a secret Santa and she thought I would enjoy this. It's a nice red. I wanna give it a minute to set. I know I have a brown shade of this, but I can't remember whether or not it transfers. So I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and then we'll play and see what happens. And of course I am doing a wear test and I'm gonna eat, so I will come back later and let you know how everything's coming. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz with some of my Wet n Wild Fight Dirty. And I almost forgot my BH Power Pencil in the inner corner. I love this. The white in the inner corner just gives the face a little brightness. So the lip product feels smooth on the lips. My lips don't feel sticky. Definitely a transfer situation happening, but maybe when the gloss wears off, I'll be left with the stain. That would make sense to me. So looking at the complexion, I look very glowy. I'm not sure if that is coming off on camera or not. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a love, but I wanted to try it and I have high hopes. It has been super, hyped up viral. I just want to see what it does on an oily skin type. So if you remember, I have the L'Oreal matte primer on this side. I have no primer on this side. I did not throw a foundation on top. I did spot conceal a teensy bit. I think the complexion looks good though. I like the coverage. I'm not seeing a lot of unevenness. I'm just seeing a glow that I am not used to. But as long as I don't feel heavy or oily throughout the day, I think that I could get away with this. The corrector and concealer, I'm definitely liking the concealer, but would I like it as much without the corrector? I'm gonna have to keep playing, but so far the under eyes do look pretty good, especially considering how bad they looked this morning. They had a lot of work to do. The liquid eyeshadow, I am loving. It looks super velvety and matte on the eyes. I am loving the way that that looks. So let me know what you think. I will check in before the evening is done. Hey everyone, wanted to check in. It's been about three hours since I filmed. I did change my shirt. The lipstick is gone, but the stain is still there. Loving that. Uh, as far as the complexion, the eyeshadow is looking amazing. I can tell on the left side of my face that I am a little bit smoother than the right side, but I'm kind of feeling this uh, glowy kind of look. I will check back in in another five hours, but so far, so good. Hello, hello, I am back. It has been eight hours. I did fix the lipstick. The stain lasted a pretty long time, and then I just added a CoverGirl red lip that I had downstairs. And to update you, I definitely have oils coming through. I can see that. 
but my skin does not feel heavy. It does not give me that feeling. I, some foundations, I just, I can't wait to wash my face at the end of the day. I feel pretty good. I still feel like the side with the primer looks a little bit better than the side without. Two thumbs up for this. Obviously, you know, this is gonna be in my favorites of the month. And this, I think, is great. As far as touching up, what I would normally do at this point if I needed to go out somewhere or just wanted to refresh my makeup is I would take a tissue and just blot. And really, the tissue looks pretty good. And then I would take my Essence All About Matte. It is lightweight, it is mattifying. I would put a little bit on my powder puff and just go over the pores anywhere I wanted to smooth. And that looks great, not heavy or cakey. I am shocked and pleased, yay. This gets a thumbs up from me for any of you oily skinned folks out there that want to know, can I get away with the glowy skin from e.l.f. Halo Glow? I like it. I do prefer my T-zone to be matte, but even just in the pore area, like I could go here, here, and here, and then allow the rest of the glow to come through. Because it, it really did, I felt like my face looked really bright and healthy all day long. Awesome. I hope this was helpful for you. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing before you leave. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Give the video a thumbs up if you had some fun. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I so love having chats with you in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.